Fridays always tend to be a big day in the IPO calendar. This one is no exception. We have Dave & Buster's, a well-known restaurant chain. They had been public before, went private. Now here we go, public again. But they're coming to public in a different way, this time with a whole lot of debt. Francis, when I took a look at this company, I was shocked at how much debt, and they somehow managed to get some profits under their belt before they went public. Right. They've never been profitable uh, with the financial records that are available. For the first six months of, of this year, they earned uh, $8 million uh, pre-tax. And uh, and then if you uh, apply a, a tax rate to it, it in, and put it in the P.E. ratio of business, it, it's like 30 times earnings. But normally for that, you pay something that's got consistent revenue. The problem I have with this one is that their, their installations are big, like almost $10 million dollars. Um, revenue a year per place and um, it, it's they've kind of flipped the especially restaurant deal um, on its on its year what they do is, is they encourage people to uh, stay and play their games in arcades and their market is um, uh, people men and women 18 to 20 to 39 but you know they, they make most of their money from amusements uh, in in their place so uh, the problem I have with it is they have 59 um, locations right now and they say that over time they could grow to 150 uh, in the U.S., well, that's not very much. That's not very good. That's not very, very good visible growth. And then their places sometimes are as big as an acre. I mean, it's really big, and so they're going to be coming out with uh, smaller, um, smaller versions so that they can access smaller markets. I just don't believe their growth numbers, and so I think that it may go up on the offering. <laughs> excuse me, because uh, investors like, especially restaurants. In this case, it's especially kind of game type uh, business. And uh, I'm not sure what, what the long-term legs are on it. So I, I wouldn't hold this. If, if you want to buy it in the offering, I wouldn't hold it. I would agree with you. The restaurant IPOs seem to have done well, but this one is loaded down with a lot of debt. Then we have Fleet Maddox. It's a software as a services company. They have software for trucking companies, helping them with their manage their fleets and the fuel usage and where the trucks are. This one actually looks pretty good. You know what? I like this one. Um, it, it's uh, um, it's a software as a service company, and what that means is is that they well, what they do is they target small to medium businesses with a uh, thousand vehicles or less. I think uh, it, it's a big market. It's it's a growing market, and what they their quarterly revenue are, are going up uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten percent. They're showing really good top line revenue growth, and uh, they're making a little bit of money, not a lot, but they're making a little. And the market always likes it when a subscription company has top line revenue growth and they're at least break even. And, and, and this one is break even to profitable. So if somebody wants to participate in the software as a service uh, segment for the kind of business they're in, this is about the only way to do it. So I think over time it'll do very well. This market has fewer players. We're coming it. into a Monday where we're going to we're entering a new stage of tech. It's a stock picker's market. Welcome to the five dumbest things. Apple reported earnings.